To have a knack for something means you have a natural talent for doing something, and you enjoy doing it. You are really good at it naturally, even without much training. Here is an example. Mary is really good at communicating ideas. Let's change this sentence using have a knack for plus ing. She has a knack for. She has a. She has a knack for. She has a knack for communicating ideas. This means more than she has the skill and does it well. It means it is part of her nature, part of her personality. Communicating comes naturally for her. This can be very useful during a job interview when you want to communicate that you didn't just learn a skill, it is part of your personality and identity. You are good at it, even with little training. It is part of you. Let's practice how to use the phrase have a knack for something in job interview situations using a very interactive speaking and listening exercise so that you can feel comfortable using this phrase when you need it most. Welcome to the Professor English podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice English by using the phrase, have a knack for something, which means you have a natural talent for something. You are good at something, even without any training. It is part of your identity. This is a listening and speaking exercise. So if you want to improve your English listening, your English speaking, and your accuracy, while also improving your vocabulary, in other words, the whole enchilada, you have found the right video. There are no long explanations, just English practice. Practice listening and practice speaking. So, if you are not clear how to use, have a knack for something now, don't worry. By the end of the video, the idea will be very clear. So be sure and watch until the end. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with this exercise, you can always see the video version on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now, let's dive in and start practicing English. Here is a sentence. Mary is a good fit for this job. Mary is a good fit. Mary is a good fit for this job. Let's make a why question. Why? Why is she? Why is she good? Why is she a good fit? Why is she a? Why is she a? Why is she a? Why is she a good fit for this job? Here is the answer. She has a talent for understanding complex systems. She has a talent for understanding complex systems. Now this is fine. This is a fine sentence, but probably during a job interview, you will have a lot of opportunities to talk about your talents. So let's use another phrase, which means be naturally good at something. That's have a knack for plus an ing verb. She has a knack for. She has a knack for. She has a knack for. She has a knack for understanding. She has a knack for understanding complex systems. She is a good fit for this job. She's a, she's a good fit for this job because she has a knack for. Because she has a knack for. She's a good fit for this job because she has a knack for understanding complex systems. That's a pretty long sentence. <laughs> Try to say the whole thing. She, she's a good fit for this job because she has a knack for understanding complex systems. She is a good fit for this job because she has a knack for. She's a good fit for this job because she has a knack for understanding complex systems. All right, fantastic job. Let's try another example. Here's a new sentence. John is qualified for this position. John is qualified. John's qualified. John's qualified for this position. Let's make a why question. Why? Why is he? 
Why is he? Why is he? Why is he qualified? Why is he qualified for this position? Why is he qualified for this position? Here is the answer. He enjoys troubleshooting and is very good at it. He enjoys troubleshooting and is very good at it. There's nothing wrong with this idea. But if you want another way to talk about being good at a task and that you have a natural ability to do it, you can also use have a knack for plus ing verb. He has a, he has a, he has a knack for. He has a knack for troubleshooting. He's qualified for this position because he has a knack for troubleshooting. Because he has a. Because he has a. Because he has a. Because he has a knack for troubleshooting. He's qualified for this position because he has a knack for troubleshooting. He's qualified for this position because he has a knack for troubleshooting. All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find these exercises helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, Professor English ESL Class, so that you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another example. Mike would really love this opportunity. Mike would really love this, this opportunity. Mike would. Mike could. Mike could. Mike could really love this opportunity. He would. He would really love this opportunity. He'd really love this opportunity. Let's make a why question. Why? Why would he? Why would he? Why would he? Why would he? Why would he really love this opportunity? Why would he? Why would he? Why would he really love this opportunity? Here is the reason. He is naturally good at organizing teams and he enjoys it. What would be another way to say that he is naturally good at this skill and he enjoys it? He has a knack for plus ing verb. He has a knack for organizing. He has. He has a knack for. He has a knack for. He has a knack for. He has a knack for organizing teams. It's just naturally, he's just naturally good at doing that. It's just part of his personality. He doesn't really have much training. It's just a natural ability. He would really love this opportunity because he has a knack for organizing teams. Because he has a, because he has a, because he has a. He would really love this opportunity because he has a knack for organizing teams. All right, you're doing a fantastic job. Let's try one more example. Lisa is uniquely qualified for this position. Lisa is uniquely qualified for this position. Let's make a why question. Why uniquely qualified? Why? Why is she? Why is she uniquely qualified for this position? Why is she uniquely qualified for this position? Here is the answer. She is very good at problem solving. It is part of her personality. Not everyone is as good as her. And the, that thing that makes her special is it's part of her talent. It's her talent. She does it naturally. It's not about training. It's about her, her nature. It is something special about her that is not special about other people. She has. She has a knack for. She has a, she has a knack for. She has a knack for solve, problem solving. She has a knack for problem solving. She's uniquely qualified for this position because she has a knack for problem solving. She's uniquely qualified for this position because she has a knack for problem solving. All right, you did an amazing job today and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations. 
I knew you could do it. Remember, practice makes perfect, so you should repeat this exercise several times, not just so that you can remember how to use to have a knack for something, but also to improve your listening skills and your speaking skills. It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.